Hi traders, this is a demo video of how to set up Trendline Trader Pro on a Pepperstone demo account. Or brought about because uh, a customer using Pepperstone um, is having significant problems uh, getting the system to auto trade. So I wanted to use this demo account to show how to set the system up properly and essentially get things going. So we've got an Aussie dollar, US dollar, M1 chart here. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to tidy things up by opening the MT4 data folder, which you can see here. Go to the MQL4 folder, go to files, and if you see any files with trend line written in them, delete them. So just clear out any old parameter files. So select those and delete them. Once you've done that, load the EA onto the chart. Go to the common tab, make sure allow DLL imports is selected, allow import of external imports is selected, and allow live trading is selected. And obviously make sure you can trade both long and short positions. OK those changes. You'll now see the no JFX interface loaded warning coming up. And that's just telling you the interface is not loaded. Make sure you can auto trade. So make sure the auto trading uh, option up here is selected and also in MT4 options make sure allow automated trading is selected and none of these disabled boxes are ticked so ok those parameters open the MT4 data folder double click on the file called FXA JFX interface log in using your unique reference number and ID the product catalog will come up Go to Trendline Trading Systems and select Trendline Trader Pro, and the interface will now load up. And the previous trendline that we clicked on is displayed there, don't worry about that. Just now change the chart time frame, which will dismiss the red warning text. Go to a trendline, and when you're testing the system, don't draw trend lines you know, through price action like this, and, and you know, think about what you're doing. Don't try and sort of throw the kitchen sink at the system by placing all kinds of strange trading behaviours on the chart. Just take it easy, take it step by step. Go to properties, make sure show object descriptions is selected. And this is on the common tab of properties, so this is selected here. Draw a trend line and Think about support and resistance, so you can see here these are swing high points here on this M1 chart. Draw a line through these resistance levels where price is struggling. And in the same way, if you want to draw another trend line through some support, draw one through these levels here. Now let's set these two trend lines up to be break trade. So if the price action moves outside this, this uh, triangle pattern here, we want to basically buy if it goes above the trend line, sell if it goes below. So let's configure the buy trade first. So this is a resistance level. So we're going to be set up this to be a buy. Behavior is going to be a break touch. So if trend line, if, if price action breaks above the trend line and falls within say a five pip threshold around this trend line you'll get a break touch trade which will be a buy so at the moment we're getting very limited tick data because it's, it's night time basically and the market's very thin in terms of volatility so we have to wait for a few ticks to come through before we see any of these settings being replicated on the chart so you can now see here we've got a very tight stop loss don't use 5 pips use a sensible stop loss like 10 or 15 pips if you make changes to these spinner values using the keypad, keypad make sure you hit the enter key after you've done it because otherwise those changes won't be reflected. You can now see here we've got, if we just minim or reduce the scale, we've got a TP1 exit and a stop loss and we've also got our trigger channel so price action must basically go above the trend line and end up in this trigger channel for, for a long buy trade to be executed. 
and in the same way we'll configure the I'm just going to reduce that that take profit level so you can see it on the screen more easily so I'm going to reduce that to 10 pips which will bring that take profit level down a bit for us again waiting for tick data I'm also going to reduce the lot size to 0.01 which reflects the value that the client was using so let's get that TP1 down I'm just going to measure these yeah that is it's basically going to take a 10 pip TP level from the top of the trigger channel which is 5 pips above the trend line so you need to factor that in so you could reduce that to 5 pips on the take profit which will move this TP1 down to that level there which is fine so we'll hope to get a fill just above the trend line one or two pips higher and in the same way we just seen price action dip below this this trend line here which is yet to be configured so I'm just going to move that trend line down a bit and the system has automatically selected that so that so that's to make that a sell break touch 0 0.01 lots stop loss 10 take profit 5 and when you, you see some ticks come in you see that now being set up so our stop for 52059 is there and our take profit is down here so if we we can actually force the system to make trades by actually physically moving the trend lines into price action we may not need to because I suspect price action will tick into these in a second or so um, just one thing to mention on the sensitivity don't use sensitivity of 1 use a sensitivity of 5 as a minimum and that will basically move the sensitivity this channel down now here so you can now see we've now got a more interesting situation where on the sell side if price action basically comes down and breaks across this trend line momentarily you'll get a sell trade being triggered so I'm just going to move this trend line up a bit right into price action it's quite difficult to see because of the scale of this but let's just kind of broaden that out a bit so if we just wait for a few moments I'm really tightening these up now. I might move my resistance level down as well, tightening it up right around this, this triangle formation of price action here. So let's just observe this. I'm just going to move this even tighter into here. Okay, so you saw price action basically jump up through that, that resistance line. We saw a trade being triggered. And if you go to your trade tab, you can now see you've got to buy 0 0.01 lots Aussie dollar, dollar US dollar stop loss take profit level, and obviously your current PL. Um, that's all there is to it, really. Um, if you want to, so you can force the system to make trades by moving the actual trend lines into price action, but you have to draw the trend lines correctly.